Dear friends, it is with great joy that we welcome you all to our channel dedicated to spirituality and connection with the Divine. Here, we will find comfort, peace and inspiration together. Before we begin, we invite you all to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you will stay up to date with all our prayers, meditations and inspirational messages. We want to get to know you better. In the comments, we ask that each of you write a word that represents what you want to manifest in your lives. This simple word will be a way for us to share our desires and intentions with each other. Now, before we continue with the prayer, we invite everyone to close their eyes, breathe deeply and relax their bodies and minds. Allow yourself to enter a state of serenity and receptivity so that we can fully connect with the sacred. When we read the scriptures, we find several examples of crises, famine, plagues and diseases. In each of these moments, God's people who placed their trust in Him were sustained. Faith provides us with security, even in the most challenging situations. It's easy to say we trust God when everything is fine. However, the true test of faith lies in maintaining trust when things are not going well. Trusting God means allowing Him to do whatever is necessary, even if it involves results we don't understand. God never fails, because He is Almighty. Therefore, our trust must be complete, allowing Him to act on His terms, time and path, and not ours. Therefore, we must trust Him enough to let Him succeed, but let Him succeed on His terms, in His way, and in His time, not on my terms, in my way, or in my time. Trusting God is saying, I'm going to let God do what He wants, Lord. I'm not going to argue with you, I'm not going to fight, I'm not going to resist. I'm going to let you do what you know is best and I'm not going to fear the outcome. The Lord is my shepherd and I will not be in need. In other words, God says, I will take care of all your needs if you will just trust me. The Lord is my shepherd, I do not want and even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will not fear any evil because you are with me. The Bible says this in 1 Peter, Dear friends, do not be surprised or shocked when you meet painful trials and fiery tests in life. The Bible says that in the world you will have tribulations. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 17 and 18 says this for our temporary listening, it will not last, our temporary and momentary problems will not last, but they are reaching for us an eternal glory that surpasses them all. So we focus not on what is seen, on the problems around us, but on what is unseen, because what is seen is temporary, it will not last, but what is unseen is eternal. Sometimes when you're following Jesus, he leads you right into a storm. Remember, in the New Testament, there are two times when the disciples found themselves in a storm on a boat. They thought they were going to die both times, but they were in the storm, they were in trouble, not because they were doing wrong things, they were in trouble because they were doing the right things, they were following Jesus, they were obeying what he told them to do. We're following his instructions and his instructions led them straight into a storm. But if they hadn't been in those storms, they never would have discovered truths about Jesus. There were things they saw about him that they had never seen before and they could never have learned any other way than by going through the storms they experienced. My tendency when it comes to storms is that I want to go around the storm if I see it looming on the horizon. I want to find a way around the problem, but sometimes God wants to take you right into the middle of it all because the Lord, the Lord, has his way in the whirlwind and the storm. Then you follow him to the middle of it. He says, trust me for the Lord has his way. When you are in the middle of the storm is when you look for God. Always look for God the way things are not the way you expect them to be, but look for God the way things are because he is not waiting for you on the other side of the problem, waiting for you to discover and find the way. He is in the middle of it walking with you, working his way and his will, but you have to trust him in this. So when God says, trust me, you have a decision to make. 
Will you allow him to do what he wants to do and not fear the outcome? Because fearing the outcome says, Lord, I really don't trust you very much. Will you allow him to do what he wants to do and not fear the outcome? Focus on what never changes in the coming days that will give you stability. Don't focus on what's always changing because we don't know where it will all end. You say, oh well, what are the immutable truths that are not? Should I concentrate well? God sees everything I'm going through. Focus on that. God cares about everything I'm going through, which is unchangeable. God. So if you believe that, say Amen. Share so everyone can hear that God is the source of our power and our prosperity.